Hello everybody and welcome back to the Listless Onion channel and wait, 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 problems, problems, fix, fix them. Okay, wait, that was weird, my microphone was acting weird, I should have checked earlier, I should have checked before starting the stream, however, this should be fixed now, the volume seems better. So, what is this? This is Outward, this is a magnificent game, this is fantastic, uh, it's the first time I play it, although I've seen it uh, played by streamers and I loved it and I can't wait to try it myself. This would have been another Valheim stream, but alas, Valheim has been updated a couple of days ago, and now we have to wait for all the mods uh, to get uh, updated as well. So, uh, by the way, Outward right now is on sale, like 70% off on Steam. If you go there uh, with like 30 bucks or something, you can get Outward with all the DLCs, so the Sor Soroborians and the Three Brothers, and uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker Imperial Edition, like all in a big package, which is amazing. If you have some uh, disposable income, go do that, these are fantastic games. So, without further ado, let's start a new game. Start a new game, yes, for one player. Uh, we'll, we'll do normal, of course. Uh, this is not gonna be Jim. This is gonna be... I wanna play a female. Let's see. Let's look at the faces. Huh. This looks like a hyena slayer. That's not bad, too. Alright, alright. Hairstyle. Hair, unfortunately, in this game is not, it's not that good. But we have this, which is nice. Hair color, give me proper black. Thank you, somebody. Or maybe some kind of d red dyed. Yeah, that's lo that looks cool. Maybe something like that, like it's a more uh, earthen color. You know how there's uh, there's tribes that, that that still do this with like like fat and 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 crushed stone. That looks that looks cool. Um, and she's called Onionessa. Onion Onionassa. Onion Assa. Onion Onionassa. Onioneza. Onionisa. Ooh, Onionisa, yeah. That's her name. She is a slayer of both hyenas and onions alike. Create. So, uh, if you never knew of this, if, you, if it's the, your first time hearing of this game, like this is an old school uh, RPG, and it starts with a little, little bit of uh, text. All my life, I've lived within the safety of Sierzo, spared the brutality of the world outside. But life in Ori is never that easy. For all the safety that my tribe provides, our laws are harsh. We are judged not as individuals, but as bloodlines. The failures of my bloodline weigh heavy on me. My grandmother brought ruin to our tribe long ago, bringing a heavy blood price upon my family. We've paid the debt caused by her. Uh, we've paid the debt caused by her actions ever since. I joined an expedition across the sea with my old friend Izan, hoping the money made there would be enough to, cl to clear my debts. This was a mistake. 
I'm lucky to still be breathing after our ship hit rocks on the return voyage. Now I have no choice but to pick myself up yet again and face the wild, untamed land outside the walls. I must carve out my own future or die trying. Or die trying. Yes. Equipment loses durability with use, becoming weaker, etc. etc. Those are just hints and tips. So we are freshly uh, washed ashore, shipwrecked. It's dawn, as far as I can tell. And we start by collecting torches. You can sprint with left shift and collect more torches. I'm, I've remapped some of the keys slightly to, to, to adjust what, I, what I'm most used to. You press and hold the interact button to gather. You can gather berries and you can also gather uh, stuff like wood. I'm not going to gather wood right now though. We will have plenty of occasions to do that. Let's take the tattered attire. Let's take another makeshift torch. E to um, go to the inventory and I want to unequip this torch because we don't really need it. Wait, what was this? Oh, seaweed. Seaweed, nice. There is um, there's crafting in this game. There's cooking. You can make uh, different foods that have different effects. You can make potions. You can unequip four torches because you don't need them. Um, and yeah, you you can craft improvised weapons. And see, like there's even it says gather clean water. Oh, I can drink because this is a this is a stream. This is clean water, so drink. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. This should help us a little bit. So our friend Izan is in here. However, let me take the bandages here. The gad berries, and I think yes, more berries because because berries are good. There should be a weapon in here, and also hyenas. Yes. Machete. There's a couple of hyenas in here. I've been practicing uh, combat a, a little bit. You can dodge roll, you can block. However, hyenas are really hard to to block, but you can dodge them. And they also have a pretty predictable attack pat pattern. So I think I can do this. You can hit tab to, to lock. You wait for the hyena to uh, to lunge at you while you continuously uh, sidestep. And you can even roll forward because the hyena itself wants to always uh, sidestep. So if you actually roll forward, you, you, you get really close real quick and you can actually almost get behind the hyena, see? Lunging yourself is not, it's not the best idea. Okay, wait for it, and then strike. And this is this this is, feels pretty much safe. Yes, yes, attack. Do it. Oh no 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 no! Oh no, not two at once. I didn't I did I didn't test this. I don't know that I can. Okay. Okay 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 okay. This is this is now difficult. It's twice twice as much hyena slaying, all at the same time. Yes! You miss! You miss, hyena! You miss! Whoa! Don't do that! Oh, what? Where's the other one? Oh, I'm almost, almost out of stamina. I'm almost out of stamina. The yellow circle in there, that's the stamina. Oh! You got yourself exposed there, buddy. Whoa! 
Almost. Almost. Really. Ouch! I cannot... I wanted to attack there, but you cannot attack if you're out of stamina. Keep, keep circling. Keep circling. They only got one attack. Ouch! Should have seen that coming. We might die in here. Okay, I have a little bit of stamina left. I mean, back. But yeah. Come on. Come on. Ouch. It's it's a lot easier when it's just one. But unfortunately, I managed to pull the second one. Okay, one is dead. I'm also practically dead. We might have to re-roll this character, unfortunately. Come on. Come on. Come on, try it. I think I'm bleeding. Okay, we got it. Loot the hyena. Do I have a bandage? Yes, use the bandage. Okay, okay. Maybe I didn't need to use the bandage. So I, I think this, there should be a way for you to check your uh, status effects. I'm wet because it's raining. Uh, I'm diseased. Oh, I'm gonna lose 3% of my health per minute? Huh. And I have bandages that recover 0.5 health per second. Okay. So this flashing is just because you're almost dead. So this, this, this is not bleeding. But uh, the disease might have killed us anyway. There is a hollowed trunk in here where we can get... What is this? Straw hat, sandals, and a cooking pot. Look at that. This is badass. I think the loot in, uh, in the hollow trunk is somewhat randomized because I tried this earlier and I got a pickaxe from there instead. All right, so I don't think you're supposed to come in here and fight the hyenas in the beginning, but I think it's nice. I'm hungry. I think I can eat gut berries. And can I use the pot? Ooh, look at this. Can I, can I deploy this? Maybe, oh, I think uh, I think you need I think you need to have a a um, a bonfire. That would make sense, right? Oh, look at the massive ore from the ship. Is there anything else that we can gather in here? What is this? More seaweed? Even more seaweed. I'm sure this will be useful at some point. What's this? Ooh, bones. I knew there were uh, 
things to loot in here. Flint and steel, two linen cloth, wood and silver. I've taken everything? Yes. Close. Can I? No, I cannot get in there. Okay, let's speak to Izan and let's continue with the story. Oh, come on. Is there anything else in here? I haven't checked. Oh, what is this? Oh, gather wood from the tree. Yeah, that makes sense. Maybe around the ship? I haven't been around here. I can't get on top of the ship. Oh no, dead people! Take the bread! Everybody's dead! Talk to Izan Argensen. What you need? Anya Nessa, you're alive! You must be freezing! Um. No, but... okay. Come, warm up by the fire before you freeze to death. Where are we, Zan? The last thing I remember was our ship it hitting a rock, which We're doesn't sound good. Home. You can see the lighthouse from here, can't you? Ito made it out too. He's making his way home to Sierzo to get help. Ito made it out al alive too? Thank a Elat. Elat or Elat? Elat. He's a Kazite. He was born on a ship. This probably isn't the first time he's had to survive a shipwreck. Go ahead and sleep in one of the extra bedrolls. Will do, will do. So, there's some free bedrolls in here to use. I mean, of course, you want to get into the bedroll, even if it has no sheets. So, usually, you would spend your, let's say, um, break time doing a combination of sleep, guard to prevent ambushes, but there's a 0% chance of an ambush right now, and also repairing to restore uh, your item durability. But for now, we just want to sleep so that we can trigger the next scene. Status menu shows details with your equipment, etc. Unconsciousness comes quickly, and you dream of being ensnared in something. With a yelp, you jump out of your bed. Relief floods you as you recognize where you are. You are back in your old bed at home, the lighthouse in Sierzo. Izan must have brought you back to your family's lighthouse. Only your aching body tells you that the sh shipwreck you suffered was not a nightmare. And here we are. So this is home, where we probably live with our brother, I want to say. We can get worker boots and worker attire. We are now stashing everything in our pockets. What's better, sandals or the boots? This is resistance 2, impact resistance 2. This is a little bit better against cold, but... Oh, this has hot weather defense. Alright. I'm now over encumbered, but I can still roll like a champion. However, in here there is a primitive satchel. You have... Uh, now the, so, you have different forms of backpacks in the game, so we want to equip with, in my case, X. Apparently, our family likes creepy uh, skulls. Yeah, that's a, that's a family thing. So, if I open the equip uh, uh, amount, uh, the inventory now, we can see that there's primitive satchel in here, so I can start 
No, no, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want. I wanted to right click. Yes, move to bag. So instead of having a massive pot in our pockets, now we have it in the satchel, which is much much better. Uh, move to bag. The wood also move to bag. All of it. The food can stay in the pockets. Move to bag. Move to bag. Right now. I'm thinking this is probably better than the tattered. How's it called? Tattered attire. I'll keep it on me though. Then. Here we have our stash. And we will stash a couple of torches. The gad berries that are going bad really quickly. Also the raw meat. The hides and the seaweed. I think we can immediately craft something with the linen cloth. Yes, two linen makes one bandage. Nice. We could have the bandages in our pockets and I think that also means that we can maybe assign them in here. Let's maybe do like five item bandages. Cool. And we can also maybe do... Like this thing could be... Item... Torch. Cool. While I'm there, it's probably also good to have our machete on the hotbar. So, Q. Oh, because this puts it away, like, completely. But then there's another... There's another key to actually sheath the weapon. Okay, that makes sense. Take more berries. And apparently we leave, you know, home like this, just on a table. This... this... this house has seen better days. Can I climb this? No, I cannot. Unfortunate. We seem to have a pretty big... And I assume expensive um, loom, right? But we don't use it, probably. I assume. We have a kitchen. There is an old lantern here. Unequip the lantern. Do I want to put the lantern in here instead of the torch? I don't know. Maybe keep the lantern for dungeons. Improvised bed rolls. Iron scrap. Gutberry jam. Take cooking. Cierzo ceviche. This is a recipe. Teaches how to craft food using a cook pot. I think we just click on it. Cierzo ceviche recipe has been learned. Um. How do you cook that? Is that travel ra rations? You can make travel rations with salt, jerky and bread. I see. Oh, we can also craft a primitive satchel. Oh, wait. Maybe, maybe you gotta use the kitchen. Right, Sierzo Sepish. I think that's how it's spelled. You need a raw rainbow trout, seaweed, and salt. So see, seaweed is uh, is useful. Right ahead, we can take the bread from here. I don't think we need anything else for now. Let's stash a bunch of things in here. Uh, maybe put one of the pieces of bread. This, this. I'll keep the jerky on me. Maybe I'll stash the bread. Improvised bedroll, cooking pot. Iron scrap can go in there. Maybe I'll sell these or, or maybe I'll do something with them. Oh, there's a grey garb also. Interesting. I don't think this is better than... Well, let's, let's, let's look at it though. 
green worker attire. This has a little bit more protection from cold. But this looks better. Like, simply better. Um, stash this. Alright, let's get out and meet the, um, you know, very friendly people of Sierzo. Rise and shine, trog spawn. You think you can nip off for four months and not pay what you owe the tribe? Uh, right. A blood price is sacred. You can't just shrug off that responsibility. I think, I think the volume is a little bit too high at the moment, but let's just go through this uh, section of dialogue and then I'll, uh, I'll, I'll adjust that. If I don't see the money from you by the time I count to ten, you'll regret you ever came home! Yeah, they are shouting. You know I can't pay it. All the money we made in Roshi is at the bottom of the bay. Yeah, you were on that ship too, weren't you? How many lives must your family be responsible for destroying before enough is enough? She lost her daughter in the same voyage and she's giving the... she's, she's blaming us for some reason. Well, this doesn't change the fact that I have no money right now and I can't pay you. If you can't make the payments you missed, we will seize your home! That ought to cover four months of ignoring your duty to the tribe. Either pay up or get out of our way. So, the home and the entire only uh, lighthouse in town is the equivalent of four months? Uh, that doesn't sound right, but... Enough all right. of this! Twelve people are dead! Stop this shameful behavior at once! Yes, stop, stop, stop the shameful behavior. To threaten someone like this while the lost lives are still fresh is an insult to their memory. Exactly. Onionisa is a victim, victim of that shipwreck too. Under the laws of the Blue Chamber Collective, I have declared a period of mourning. You understand what that means, don't you? But, Chamber Lady Aberdeen... Onionisa has clearly been... I said that is enough! If you want to resume discussions after the morning period, feel free. But until then, your concern should be for those whose lives were lost in the wreck. Oliel, see these people off, would you? You heard, Mother. Away with you, or I will personally see to it that you get double shifts of guard duty. Exactly, and don't you forget it. I'm sorry that was the first thing you woke up to. Please forgive them. Many of them have lost family and are not thinking straight. I can't believe they want to seize my home. Can't you do something? If I could do more, I would. The most I can do for you is declare a mourning period and buy you a little time. If you do not pay off those four months of missed payments on your own, the tribe would have my head. For five days, no one in the tribe can ask for what you owe. That gives you a few days to pay back the money. Either gather the money, or earn a tribal favor, and they won't be able to touch you. Okay, so we need to get either 150 silver coins, or earn a tribal favor. Once you can make the payment, come see me. Please, find a way to make it work. The last thing I want to do is to take your lighthouse away. And we can say a bunch of different things, but we already know how it works in here. We could try to say this blood price is unfair, you can't hold me responsible for things that are out of my control. Have you forgotten why your family bears this blood price? When your grandmother was chamber lady, she turned away the followers of Ilat in our time of greatest need forcing the tribe to pray only to the five winds for protection. Oh! So, 
our grandmother was chamber lady and she made a let's say um not difficult um she made a religious choice that people didn't necessarily share listen well because of her pride dozens were slain by the beasts of the scourge your bloodline owes it to them to pay back that debt I understand. Bitterness still runs very deep in the tribe, or how could I possibly forget? Not a day goes not a day goes by without someone reminding me. Or I can't bear this stupid blood blood prize any longer. What if I just leave and never come back? No, I won't do that. How could I possibly forget? Not a day goes by without someone reminding me. This is unacceptable. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You live and breathe thanks to the deeds of your ancestors. You cannot embrace such a gift if you cannot also bear the costs of their actions. Then I will have to head outside the walls. That does seem like your most effective option, dangerous as it is. I doubt you'd be able to gather that much in such a short time just by staying in Sierzo. Never forget, no one is an orphan in Sierzo. Do not hesitate to ask the rest of the tribe for survival advice. Except, they will gladly have your head because your grandmother was an idiot. But we will still help you however we can. But you are dead. If you can do a great deed for someone in Sierzo, we will owe you a tribal favor which I will accept as a substitute for your payment. Once you're ready to leave Sierzo, speak with Burak, the Gate Warden. He will judge whether or not you are prepared to face the outside world. Remember, you only have a few days. May your ancestors watch over you. All right. Okay, this whole thing of the blood price and the five days and 150 silvers because Apparently our grandmother is responsible for a lot of people de dying, um... It doesn't hold up fantastically, but... Let's bring down the voices a smidge, shall we? Uh, some... no, 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 wait, wait, wait. apply, you have to apply first. And this is our friend Oliel. I'm glad you survived the wreck. And I'm sorry about your losses. I know how much you were counting on this expedition. That glowing sword is new. When did you get it? Rufus commissioned it for me as a going away present. I was going to leave this morning to go join the holy mission of Elad before Mother could stop me. But with the shipwreck... It wouldn't be right to leave so soon. I have to stay with the tribe until the mourning period is over. I can't imagine your mother will let you go without another lecture. I know. Risa has already promised me that she and I will be having a long talk. I hope she convinces you. I'll miss you if you leave. I know. I'll miss you and Izan too. But this is the path I choose to walk. I'm done letting, letting Brissa decide my life. I want to be part of the greater good, not rule over people. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Oliel. All right, all right, all right. So we are in Sierzo, and there is a number of things that I know we can get in here. I don't think we can jump in there, though. Maybe I'm wrong. Ooh, look at that. A quarter staff and more berries that we will gather in time. So let's quickly run around and find all the collectibles. Not because of collection, but just because we, we want stuff and items. For example, there's a nice uh, two handed weapon. Maybe a couple, even. Let's see. Nice. What about the quarter stuff?
We also have a special attack. All right, all right. And I think there's also various uh, tools that we can collect. I've seen also people do strange maneuvers around town to get a, a secret, secret item set. But I don't think I'm going to attempt that for now. I think this is a person that can give us a quest. Greetings, friend. Onyonisa, always a pleasure. What do you want? I don't think we have something for her already. Um, I'm here about work. Lend me your ear. Work, hey? What do you need? I'm looking for something I can do nearby. As a matter of fact, I could use a brush explorer for something. Tell me, what will you risk for some silver? If the pay is good, I'm willing to put my life in danger. Is what I need. I'm looking for a particularly rare mushroom in the shape of a shield. I hear it grows in Blister Burrow, northeast of Sierzo. You'll know it if you find it. The primary characteristics are its immense size and red color. How am I supposed to gather something that is immense in size? I don't know. Sorry, bring me that mushroom and I'll pay 70 silver for it. Troglodytes and deep dark caves? That sounds like a terrible idea. Pass. What kind of properties does the mushroom have? Hmm. Hmm, what? That's a trade secret. Maybe I'll tell you later. Are you interested or not? Yes, I am. Perfect. Make sure you have a good weapon, a lantern, and plenty of supplies. It's a dangerous cave, and you will be putting your life on the line. Don't forget that trogs have poor eyesight, but fantastic lend hearing. Lend me your ear. I, I will not lend you my ear. What are you talking about? I need my ears. Uh, head out of Sierzo's main gate and follow the road to the left. When you get another fork in the road at the wooden gate, turn left again. You'll know you're going the right way if you see if you see crude statues made by troglodytes. The entrance should be just ahead of you along the hillside. Um, I leave you to your work. Thanks for the chat. I'll see you. I'll see you. Um, I suppose, or at least I'm assuming, we have this. Oh, wait. So that, that is not, that was not a quest. That's not tracked as a quest. Oh, no, it is. Minor quests. Get to the mushroom shield from the depths of Blister Burrows, north of Sierzo. And we don't get the entire dialogue. Ah. Oh, wait, we have... Um, Oh, push kick? Control the lantern. Push kick is now on 1. What if I put it on F? Um, I need to memorize the, uh, the key for this. Scale. This. Whoa! That's a... That's a kick. <laughs> All right, all right, let's continue looking around. What is this? A pitchfork. Interesting. There's people working the grass, apparently. We are over encumbered because we've got a lot of stuff on us. So I know, I know for sure there's an important item that we need to collect near the water purifier in here. There it is. 
the water skin. We can use it to gather clean water. We can also drink in here. Okay, fantastic. Is there anything else around here? Yes. What is this? Fish, fishing spear? Fishing harpoon. The bag is overweight. Oh no, I can't sprint anymore. This is my sprinting. I'm currently sprinting. I'm better off rolling. Um, let's crawl back home, I guess. Let's talk to Izan. I wish I could greet you with a smile, but well. Well, we both know that won't happen. He lost breath. What a what a disaster. How are you holding up? Yesterday I was leading our most ambitious expedition in a decade. Now, all that's left is this wreck and a tribe in mourning. I'm not holding up much better than you are. What happened? How did our ship sink so close to home? The lighthouse wasn't lit at the time we made impact with the rocks, I'm certain. I remember thinking that we should have seen it by now, right before we hit the rock. We lost everyone who was below the deck at the time of the accident. Half the ship came apart before I was able to run aground. So we lost everything? All the coins? The spices? The armor and weapons? Unfortunately, yes. What little we could salvage from the wreck has gone to the families of my drowned men. My finances are reeling from this loss. I have barely enough left to start over. Still, we have no right to complain. All we lost was some coin and four months of time on this failed journey. My sailors lost their lives. Of course, their families need all the help they can get right now. Kind as ever. Your parents would be proud. But not my grandmother. Even struggling with your own problems, you still open your heart to those in need. Your parents would be proud. The blood price on your head is disgusting. You weren't even born when that tragedy happened. Exactly my thought. I know, but I don't have a choice. Of course you do. Just because a choice is hard doesn't mean you can't take it. You choose what to do and where to go. Just because a choice is hard doesn't... Blah, blah, blah. So you, he's prob probably suggesting that we could, could leave the tribe. I'm sorry I don't have better news. Best of luck with squaring things with Risa in the short term. I guess I truly am on my own then. Actually, I do have a small stash of goods I hid in case of disaster. I hid it near the old shipwreck to the south. When you open it, remember that the moon commands the stars. The moon commands the stars. You'll know what I mean. Okay, there's a small stash of goods near the old shipwreck to the south. Remember, you're not just a link in a chain. You're worth more than the blood in your veins. Make your own path. Thank you, Zan. Okay, stash to the south. Uh, I think this is... Oh, yeah. Um, Overencumbered and... Uh... Oh, another machete. And now I can <laughs> look. This is this is my maximum speed at the moment. Okay, I seriously need to drop something. Let's drop. No, no, drop. Yeah, drop the wood. Bag is still overweight. Uh, drop. Drop the tattered boots.
drop the worker boots and can I move? Yes, I can even sprint. Look at that. Let's go home and uh, and uh, yeah, you know what I mean, right? Leave something there in the stash. Uh, before we do that, though, I just want to find there's a there's a place where where I think you can get uh, recipes. Oh, this this is where we got the the quest. I need to find the leather worker. Because with that recipe, I believe, I can craft myself some kind of makeshift armor. Where would the leather worker be? Maybe up here. Yes, here they are. I think these are free to take. Okay, so... Makeshift leather attire. Makeshift leather boots, makeshift leather hat. And I think we have the two hides from the hyenas at home. And that'll be enough to craft. Craft us some armor. Come on, girl, you can do it. Look at these people. Reading books and standing under the rain. The hardy people of Sierza. Okay, tell you what, stash this and this. I'm gonna keep a let's let's do this actually. Okay, so weapons ready at hand in, in, in the pockets, so to speak. Can these also go in the pockets? Yes. Um Yeah, I can store quite a few things in the pockets actually. Give me this. And can I now craft? Yes, I can craft a makeshift leather attire. Resistance 10, impact resistance 8. And also pouch bonus of 5. Where this uh, doesn't have pouch bonus, so let's equip this. So we can store more stuff in our uh, pouches. Can I craft anything else? Makeshift leather boots. That's good resistance. What else? Makeshift leather hat. But I need... Oh, I need something that I didn't even discover yet. Oh, I need a basic helm. Basic... Basic helm. So, craft the makeshift leather boots. Nice. So, I'm gonna store this and this and this. I'll keep the fishing harpoon. I'll put the jerky in here. Also, the an antidote. And do I need so many flint and steel things? Um, let's put one away, maybe. And the other ones in here. Alright, let's go back outside and see if we can collect more stuff. It's dark now, though. Very dark. And torches do absolutely nothing. Apparently, oh man, this is, no.
Okay, let's sleep through the night. Um, bed is right in here, I think. Use bed. So this is night, sleep, maybe like this, and then maybe repair for a couple of hours. I don't know if we need to repair anything, but confirm. So remember, the lighthouse is our ancestral home, but we got shipwrecked because the lighthouse uh, was not lit. It was dark. Right? So, remember that. Okay, wake up at dawn. Let's see if we can maybe collect more stuff, speak with some... Somebody else. Is there stuff in here? I don't remember. I think this is like the the vault. Yeah, the series of storage. Can we can we go inside? Apparently. Are they gonna put me in jail right away? You're not supposed to be here. Ooh. Well, there's there's stuff. There's an improvised bedroll. And Oh wait. Oh I can disassemble. Oh, now I have two. This bread. Okay. Another old lantern. Flint and steel. What is that? That does doesn't look good. Junk pile, there's a hatchet. Looter mask. More lanterns. I think we can sell some of the lanterns. What? is weird. Mining pick. This looks like bad news. I don't want to be here for now. Yeah. See, even, even, even the background music is bad. Cooking. Got berries jam. Alright, we, we will be back at some point and we will investigate the spooky mine in the Sierzo storage. Hey, Dunk! How are you, man? This is Outward. This is, an, this is a new old-school RPG. And it's really, really cool. It is also currently uh, on sale, 70% off on, uh, on on Steam, if you're interested. Ooh, more items. What is this? A plank shield. Cool, cool. Cool beans. Who's this guy? Roland Argensen. Uh... Brother of Izan, maybe? Oh, what brings you here? How's my brother doing? Well, Izan's alive. That's more than most of uh, the other people on our expedition can say. Yeah, shame about the shipwreck. Uh, accidents like this happen all the time. Do they? 
<laughs> that's, that's bad. Um, not if the lighthouse is lit. Who was on duty that night? Not a clue. It wasn't me, though, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, the name, the name just, just, just had to be this level of epic, you know? Epic game, epic names. Another clue, another one organizing things around here wasn't me, though, that's for sure. Shouldn't you be, be helping your brother salvage the wreck? I don't think he wants my help. Oh, this is the worst day I've had in forever. He's always saying... He he's always says that I'm stupid and clumsy. I'd probably just get in the way. So one of the weird things of this game is that they chose to do a partial voice acting. And sometimes it means that they... Uh, that the acted out parts of the dialogue cover maybe like the the first and last part of the sentence, which can be a little bit jarring. Fishmonger Carl. The sea was generous today. Seafood and fish all year round, and also dead people apparently. I want to buy something, and you have fish. Okay, cool. I I, I don't want fish at the moment. I don't think we can get in any of these doors. You are... Yeah. I see. I see. Good talk. What is this? Junk pile, my favorite. <laughs> more boots and more bedrolls. We can have a party. With all these bedrolls. Um, there's supposed to be a... A caravan. To our leftover items. Okay. And the bag is overweight. But I can move some things in the pockets. Yeah, I noticed that. Doing all the only cheap. Yes. It all looks and sounds very nice. It is like it's um it's all kind of low budget but the thing is they were probably just going for game and nothing else you know what i mean like this is this is the kind of kind of game where they didn't even want to risk uh losing time and money on uh on on stuff that at the end of the day is not gameplay which uh which is something that i can uh, appreciate Soroborian Caravanier. Friend. Greetings, Sierzos, my favorite town in Orai. The delicious fish, the sea breeze. But, back to business. I want to... buy something. Which means, I want to sell you something. You receive zero... wait. Okay, this is... I received two. Okay, give you... This, this, cool. Um, another lantern, another lantern. More boots. Is the looter mask better than I don't know what I'm wearing at the moment? So I'll give you this for now for fourteen. Oh, it's a straw hat. The ones that the, the the one I have at the moment is four and two, and this is oh four and ten. Okay, so I I gotta sell him also the other hat. So sell this for now. I don't wanna buy any of these. I don't think so at the moment. Uh, wait. Oh, confirm transaction. Transaction complete. Yeah, let's let's try this instead. Equip. Tudor's mask. Whoa, badass. Greetings, friend. I want to buy something, and I'm gonna sell you the straw hat. Sometimes you can drag and drop. Sometimes you can't. Confirm transaction. Hatchet. 
All right, let's quickly see if there is anything else obvious and then we will go get this tribal favor. So I don't know if you um, followed uh, from the start, but basically the story is we were shipwrecked um, and because we were shipwrecked, we couldn't bring home uh, money and spices and stuff that we were trading because we need to repay uh, basically some sort of bloodline crime. Our grandmother did something wrong and now our family needs to pay the, the, the tribe for, for what happened. And if we don't pay 150 silver or earn a tribal favor within five days, we get kicked out of our our home. Need something? Burak Carillon? Car Car Greetings, Oninissai. Something the matter. I'd like to talk. What do you want to know? What are you up to, Warden? Waiting on some scouts to come back from reconnaissance. Up-to-date information on what's happening in the surrounding region is essential to keep Sierzo safe. My warriors and I are the last line of defense for Sierzo. We decide what en enters and what is driven from our walls. We bear the heaviest responsibility in this tribe. Ah, uh, but, but wait, wait. Need something? Yes. Um, what do I need to learn to survive in the wild? What's got you worried? I've noticed that the longer I stay out, the less maximum health and stamina I have. <laughs> sure, because that's that's a normal conversation. I noticed that when I stay out for a long, for long I have less health and stamina. Now pay attention to what your body tells you. As you push yourself, your maximum reserves of health and stamina will be diminished, and you'll only have a fraction of your maximum. That makes sense, thank you. Sleeping in a tent or a bed will restore your reserves of stamina and health. Always be mindful of your limits and don't push them more than you need. There's no shame in taking time to set up camp when you are exhausted. Very natural talk for human, exactly. <laughs> Um, I'm going well, outside. Well, you've got the essentials at least. Here, I'll teach you a skill. Oh. Mastering these is the key to survival out in the wild. Want me to teach you one of the weapon you're currently holding? Hmm. So in this game, the progression is uh, interesting. You can have only two professions. And there's only a handful of skills that are specific to those professions, so there's a lot of replayability. Um, it's almost like choosing a class and then you multi-class with, with the second one. Um, but this kind of skill he's probably going to teach us is, uh, I think, general purpose, I want to say. Uh, so the weapons we have are, are the sword, I think, the machete and... I don't know, something else. Um, let's say yes. There you go. Mastering skills is the key to survival out in the wild. Go to the supermarket and say, Hey man, if you got anything for my hunger bar, please. <laughs> well, I I think in this world, if you go to the super, supermarket, there, there would be products that are actually m marketed as hunger bars, you know? They come in little bars. <laughs> and then call 9999, help, my HP is low, absolutely. Yes, I, I, that's 100% the way it, it, it works here, I think. There you go, mastering skills like this one is the key to survival out in the wild. You should look for trainers whenever you visit a new town, they usually group near training equipment. Others need to be sought out. All right. I feel comfortable letting you outside the walls. Use the door when you want to head out. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, but do we have the skill to open the door? That's that's the question. So we, we have already a skill right from the beginning, which is this kick. And then... 
I think I probably want to move this. Um Yeah, let's let's move the weapon in here and the torch in here. And this can be this and this can be a skill. Puncture. Required one-handed sword. Don't move the mouse while reading. Close combat attack which deals high damage and impact. And inflicts pain. Ooh, inflicting pain. That that's that's good. Let's see. Do normal slashes. There's a powerful attack and then there's a puncture. Oh, oh I thought so. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, the, the sound effect caught, caught me off guard. <clears throat> all right. I think... Oh, all the... But I don't think... I don't think I can sell these. They weren't showing up. Maybe I can sell this hatchet, though. Greetings, friend. Greetings. Can I sell you some greetings? And also a hatchet? Yes, confirm transaction. Unfortunately, you don't buy the um, bedrolls. I want to see if somebody buys bedrolls, though. Who, who, who's you? Loudhammer. What can I do for you? Need some gear? I recommend our iron weapons and a bow. <laughs> yes, please. I would like to buy your iron weapons and a bow. <laughs> Browse the All shop, right. please. Certainly. Let's do business. You won't buy my bedroll, but you could sell me an iron sword. I like this axe. Broad dagger. A dagger that inflicts bleeding. That's interesting. Is this a short sword, though? Mm, how do I know? Rondel dagger. An offhand weapon. Ooh, needs the dagger skill. I see. Oh, and he sells also recipes. Okay. Blessings Rufus. of a lot upon you. You're a healer, right? What should I be worried about in the wild? Do you have any specific question? What short-term situations could make me lose the edge in a fight? Many foes will infect you with, the, with temporary effects. These effects go away over time, although many can be cured with the right items. For example, if you are bleeding and losing health, a bandage will stop the bleeding and heal you for a short while. That makes sense, Rufus. Blessings Thank of you. Alat upon you. Uh, you're a priest of a lot, right? What can you tell me about him? As a human, he was far from perfect. He was supposedly brash and full of himself in his younger years, but he strove to improve himself day by day and founded the tribe without name, governed by the three pillars the holy mission still follows. So, a man that became a god? Then came the scourge. That makes sense. Elad, being a master of magic, sacrificed his very humanity and became living thought, guiding us to the uneasy stalemate we've known for most of this century. Oh, so this happened actually at the time of our grandmother. So this Elat guy became a being of pure thought and our grandmother didn't believe in him? Huh. The five winds we once prayed to were temperamental and unreliable. Elat, however, I've had the honor of speaking with him He's very real. Having a god that was once mortal is, comfor is, is comforting. He rem remembers what it was like to wear flesh like we do. So this 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 game is a uh, fantasy, 
but it's got a very uh, weird and very interesting mix of uh, magic and is there something you need and uh, technology so it's it's almost like a science fiction fantasy science fantasy I don't know something like like that uh, so you 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 see machinery you see people with mechanical limbs and stuff like that Business is slow for me whenever that Cerberian caravan comes in. Let me know if anything I have catches your eyes. I want to buy something. No, you do not buy my improvised bedroll. Which, which, which is stupid, because you sell those. Alright. So I'm stopping home just to get rid of the extra bedrolls and then we go out this 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 i have bread on me i have jerky and a lot of stuff okay Let's go. To the gate. Hey, Yavin900, how are you? Hey, Oni, thought I would drop in and say hi. Absolutely, thank you, man. Thank you. Really appreciate it. How are you? All right, first time outside of town. Not bad, all things considered. Good, good to know, good to know. All right, do we have a map? We do have a map, however, this is an old school map. You have to interpret it. So, so this is a bandit camp, ancient ruins, the vigil pylon. I mean, we're close to the sea, right? Forest, Hallowed March. Oh, the city of Sierzo is in here. Oh, this must be the coast we were uh, shipwrecked on. Okay. So I think I want to head this way. So we go south. Fortunately, there's a compass. Tree stump. Berries. Can I eat berries? Does that do anything for me? Yeah. It's giving me something. Maybe some some stamina. This game is not like next gen by any stretch of the imagination, but it's still still pretty. So the um, the comments I heard uh, often about the, especially ab about the uh, outdoors of this game, is that it's if if anything it feels a little bit empty. Compared to most games, uh, it has a lot of just wilderness, empty spaces. But I definitely appreciate a supply cache with arrows, four bandages, and some spikes. Oh, 
Oh, I re remember this. If you camp in an area where there's where there's the uh, <laughs> uh, how 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 do you say it? like um, tinkling? No. You know the 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 magic 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 butterflies. Uh, you can sleep without fear of being attacked. Okay, I want to go there. Robert, I've been debating on getting this since it has multiplayer and me and a buddy always looking for good game to play together. Look, uh, if you go check Steam, it's 70% off. It, I, I think it's a very good game. I don't know about the multiplayer, I know you can do two players co-op. Uh, but yeah, I like, like, I've, like from people that, that like RPGs and and can, and especially people that can appreciate, you know, that slightly more old school vibes of you have to discover your things. Like this game doesn't hold your hands, but if you like this stuff, I only heard positive uh, reviews. Um, hey, what? <gasps> what is that? I think, I think there's a powerful enemy already attacking this bird. Um, the bird I'm okay with, that other thing I'm not, you know, that, 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 that lightning shrimp or something. You, you. Yeah, that, that. Yeah, you, you fight each other. So this is this is not a t totally blind run. I've I've seen streams of this game and videos and and yeah that that thing there, that's that is deadly. And it's also stupid. It's, it's trying to climb. But okay, I'm gonna run past. Take all, and I'm gonna look at it. Okay, it's not it's not following me, but it's coming back. It is coming back in here. So let's not let's not dilly dally. So if I remember correctly, our our tribal favor. It's somewhere around here. Yavin says, I hate YouTube auto-resolution thing keeps dropping me down to 166p. Can't see crap that way. I totally ag agree. I also had it uh, recently tell me that uh, 144 was high resolution. I don't know why. Like They, 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 they made some, some changes. And... The, especially the uh, mobile app is is gone totally bonkers. Oh wow, big big bones, seaweed. Is there junk that we can gather? Oh, here's the guy. Yeah, I knew about him. Michael. I can't... I can't move. A pistol shrimp got me. I think it tore a hole in my gut. Help, please, before it comes back. You think it tore a hole in your gut? I mean, if you have a hole in your gut, you should be able to notice that, my friend. Uh, hold still, I have a bandage. I can feel it working. <laughs> oh, thank you, lot. I'm not going to die here. No, you're not going to die in here. This, this, these bandages, they do work. As soon as you apply them, they... They stitch you up. Thanks a bunch. Look at you. Good as new. Oh, it's you, on your knees, sir. Thank you. A million times, thank you. I seriously owe you one. I'll talk to Aunt Rissa and make sure you get a full tribal favor for this. So we just managed to save the life of the uh, 
tribe elder nephew. Isn't that convenient? <laughs> Ow! I don't think I'm fit to run back home just yet. I'll go find a safe place, let that medicine do its thing. Then go home the second I'm able. Take your time, good friend. Take your time. You are my tribal favor. You just uh, saved me 150 silver coins. Is there anything else cool around here? Well, there's giant seashells. If those aren't cool, I don't know. Um. So our friend Izan said that there is a stash to the south. And I should have, I should have taken some notes. So may maybe the stash, the stash is inside a cave? Maybe not. I don't know. Ooh, we can mine this. Oh, nice. What's that? Ammonite. So first of all, we got items in a in a stash earlier. Endurance potion, a potion which instant instantly reinvigorates a tired body. It restores a bit of max stamina. Raw salmon, soothing tea, conco concoction that cures the common cold and restores burned mana. Takes hours after drinking this to fully recover from the cold. A writ of tribal favor. Fossilized shells of ancient sea creatures. These iridesc iridescent stones are used to craft amolite armor. Ooh. Amolite armor. I don't know what that is, but it sounds cool. That's what I watch on is mobile. Don't often watch vids on computer. Yeah, me me too. I I I have this uh this tablet that I just move around the house and I and I just use that. Am I like parched or something? Where do I look for that? Drink. I'm thirsty. Let's drink. We have water. Right. That's supposed to do us good. Ooh, there's another... I think that's the p pistol shrimp he was talking about. So seaweed, there's a... There's a ton. Here there's also fish. And you get also seaweed while gathering fish. Can we mine this? No. Okay, this... This goes pretty far. I don't think I want to follow this all the way for now. Maybe I'll go back up there and uh, and try the first the first um, cave. How about that? Is this more fish? Can't find this. Let's give the shrimp a wide berth. Is he coming for me already? No, he's not. Okay. That thing shoots lightning. It's not cool. Okay. 
Can I mine this thing? Oh, man. How do, how do I avoid you? Stealth? Sneak around. You can't see me. And you're trapped in big bones. All right, I think it's working. All right. I mind this. No. All right, let's try. Let's try this cave. How about we use a torch and the machete? Enter. Oh, this is the other side of Sierzo's storage. I see. So this is an, an alternative way to get into town. However, are there enemies? Oh man. Oh, you, you can you can just drop. So this, this is a one-way exit. Okay, I get it. One-way exit out of town. <clears throat> Whoa. Big whale like creature with teeth. So I still don't know where the, that stash my friend was talking about is. Use this. Let's see if we can get this bird now. Now this, these little guys, they run away if they get too scared. See? No, 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 don't, don't. Aha! Uh -huh. Don't, don't fall. Wait, I'm, I'm I, th I think I'm bleeding. I think I'm bleeding. Where's the, oh, pain. No, no, it's not bleeding, it's pain. It's just pain, okay, crouch. I want to loot this bird. You can't see me, shrimp. I'm crouching. Loot the pearl bird. Take all. So, one thing I know about this chocobo-like birds is that there is like a 1 in... I don't know, 1 in 20 chance of getting a mask, the bird mask, uh, that gives you a very big boost to um, to speed. Wait, can I can I go back up here? No, I can't. Shrimp, you're very annoying. Why don't you go away? Nope. 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 Let's let's hope let's hope he's gonna you know grow tired after a while. I don't want to deal with lightning shrimps at the moment. Hyenas, eggs. Okay, th this I can deal with, especially the eggs. I can always deal with eggs. Oh, 
how many hyenas? I only see one. Should I use a, a bandage right away? I'm not full health. Let's, let's pop one. What is this? Oh, oil! Okay, hyena. It's it's you and me. Oh, I got the the satchel. Okay, drop drop the satchel. Locked. I can roll, hyena. You don't know how to roll. You only know how to lunge. And you miss too. Aha. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Gotcha. Aha. Uh -huh. Now I got your skin. Now where's my satchel again? Okay. Can I gather the oil? Apparently I can. Three thick oil added and one gravel beetle. Now I can go for the eggs. Three bird egg and one ochre spice beetle. So all of this is crafting materials, cooking materials and stuff like that. Okay, you know what? We're still very close to home and it's getting dark. And when it's dark, it gets really dark. And apart from the fact that it's very difficult to stay alive when it's very dark in this game, it's also extremely difficult for you to see what's going on. Because we know that YouTube doesn't like a dark video. Alright. Let's see, can we sell Greetings, anything? Friend. So he would buy the pelts, he also buys the meat. He would buy the trader boots, but they are kind of nice, aren't they? And I think there's also like set bonuses in this game. So maybe the trader set is something that uh, we could keep the worker boots I could sell you I'm tempted to hold on to the, the 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 fishes for now and also this I mean this this is all gonna be used for crafting right oh this is a this is a recipe fang halberd durance potion yeah just I'm just gonna sell you that 
Let's learn this Fang Albert. Let's see. Okay, this is made with an iron halberd as a base, which is already a very damaging weapon and makes this very damaging weapon. Okay, it needs predator bones and linen cloth. It's not, it's not difficult. We could try drafting one of those. Let's go back home and stash all of that food and then we will probably call it a day in more sense than one. Is Rissa still here? No, it's not because we, we've got that, that favor so it's probably at her uh, outside her own house. Or, or is it the... Or is it the... How's it called? The town hall. So this is this is no, this is not rotting. I think this is already a little bit rotten because it was in our backpack. Let's keep the trader boots. Keep the salmon. So what happens if I store? So this meat is like this. What happens if I store one of this? Uh, it all becomes kind of bad. Gravel beetle, ochre spice beetle, amylite, bird eggs, thick oil, seaweed. And I have arrows, but I don't have a bow. Let me see if I maybe learn more recipes. So I know how to make Cadbury jam, which is just Cadbury's. I know how to make this. I have the fish. I don't have the salt. I would have to buy salt to make three portions of a dish of raw rainbow trout that keeps the fish's mana restoring and elemental resistance attributes. Okay. Elemental resistance. Or I could make meat stew. I need some kind of meat and some kind of vegetable, I think. Manual recipes used to make single ingredient recipes such as grilled meat and etc. etc. Fill in but ordinary dish made with whatever meat and plants are at hand, and a pinch of salt. Okay, so I could combine maybe meat and berries. And then travel rations, bread, jerky, and salt. So the travel rations, if I remember correctly, are the item you need to travel uh, to to other places of the of the map. Now this is the Sierzo map. But um, when we were outside, that is only like one quadrant of the entire world, so to speak. There are other regions. And to travel between regions, uh, you need the travel rations. Let's sleep through the night. Let's do this. I don't know, five, and then we spend an hour repairing our stuff. Sounds like a big game. It is. It is. And it's also uh, very replayable uh, because of the way uh, character progression works. Uh, so there's a there's a number of different classes that you can unlock in this game You need to find the trainers that can train you in a specific uh, type of combat But a single character can only have two classes 
uh, and you also can like get some specific like combo okay because every every class has its own uh, skills and and you also have generic skills like for like for example this Q skill here this is like a ge a generic skill associated with uh, with this type of uh, of weapon um, so the the Risa isn't here. I thought she was gonna be in here. Oh, I can enter the town hall, of course. And uh, so yeah, let you can you you can uh, you can have like radically different characters. And also, like if you buy it right now, like like I did, like I mm, literally bought it uh, today, um, you get two expansion with it. So. Definitely a big game. Greetings. How go your efforts? I want to talk about my blood price. You have a way to make that payment. <clears throat> Show me. I earned the tribal favor. I saved your nephew. And on time, too. I'm impressed. Well, yeah, all thanks to your nephew and the fact that he got himself a hole in the stomach. Uh, but yeah. You've proven you can be an excellent asset to the tribe when you put your mind to it. And also when your nephew doesn't put his mind well to it. Well done. Siezo thanks you for your great deed. Thank you. Oliel and Izan are leaving Siezo. You should speak with them before they go. Oliel right. is leaving to go join the holy mission of Elat. So somebody say Elat and somebody else says Elat in the same game. Curious. Nothing I could say would convince her to stay. Good. It's about time you let her go. <sighs> that, that's your entire line. <sighs> you cannot understand what it feels like to have your only daughter forsake her name and home. I'm an, uh, I may never see her again. She was born into such an advent advantageous family. And yet, who am I to argue with a literal god? And Izan? Why is he leaving? He can't be ready for another expedition already. A blood price has been declared upon his bloodline. The shipwreck that killed so many of our, of our people and nearly took your life was the fault of Izan's brother, R Roland. Oh god, we spoke with Roland and we asked him and he said it wasn't his turn to manage the the lighthouse. Oh crap. A blood price has been declared upon his bloodline. What? How can you be so sure? <sighs> Roland fell asleep on duty. So he was lying too? That's... hmm. He confessed... oh, he confessed, okay. Or maybe this Risa is not telling the truth, I don't know. This is unacceptable! Roland accepts the consequences of his, his action. Izan refuses. He has chosen to exile himself from Sierzo forever, rather than to do his duty to, to the tribe and bear the blood price. Damn it, I'm losing two friends in one day. This is the way things have to be. Come back once you've said your goodbyes to them. Once you're done, we should discuss your future here in Sierzo, now that you can handle the world outside. Alright guys, I think this is it for us today, in this fantastic chamber uh, and... Uh, did, did you notice the nose of this fish head glows? This is amazing. Anyway, this is all from me. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you again next time. Alla prossima.